Halftime Hellway here for the Long Beach International Film Festival with the greatest receiver in New York Jet history. The man that caught four touchdown passes on a Monday night against the Miami Dolphins. The great Wesley Walker. Well, I appreciate that. He was a little over the top, but that's okay. All right. Uh, this is just nice to be down here. It's nice to see you for the second time in a row. Wesley, I remember you were a great receiver and out of California. You came to play for the Jets, and you never left Long Island. Love Long Island. I was very fortunate to be drafted by the New York Jets. I had a 13-year career. Unfortunately, we never got to that big one. We had that rain out in 82. Had a, a chance against Cleveland. I remember going to a championship. But Gasolino made this one second. They come all the way back, and they win the game. But it's been frustrating, and there's been good times and bad times. But just to be here on Long Island, being with people, the fans, and just this area. I used to live down here, and I just love being, I love being in the center and meeting good people like yourself. Uh, well, as we talk about the fact that, you know, wide receivers today play four, five, six years. You were set the standard for 13 years. Talk about it the longevity to be able you to play at a high level for so many years. Well, I got lucky, really, to be honest with you, because nowadays they have a different type of training. I was at training camp uh, just two days ago. They have a certain amount of practices. They've been pads. It's not like we had two and three practices a day hitting every day. So it's so much different. And now athletes have a chance to have your own training facilities that they pay to go to. We did it basically on our own. And so I, I feel very fortunate very lucky. And in my career, I had a lot of injuries that really kept me from being maybe more than what I had. I've had some success, but it could have been even better than that. I just wish we had some of the things that they had now. And uh, But I'm very fortunate to have the career that I had. And, and being a little guy and blind, hey, I did all right. I did all right. That's awesome. And, you know, I think there's an old saying, once a Jet, always a Jet. I can't remember another year where the Jets have had such a great off season. Darrell, Re Darrell Rivas might be the greatest cornerback ever. He is. Cromarty is great. Brandon Marshall is oh great. Oh, my God, yes. Talk about the enthusiasm and the new regime with Todd Bowles and McCagnan, where Jet fans really believe this team could really go places in the playoffs. I'm very impressed with Todd Bowles and Mike McCagnan. They've welcomed some of the uh, veteran players, uh, like myself, the alumni. They wanted to be there. Unfortunately, I'm a Long Island guy. It takes me two and a half hours to get there. Uh, but we were just uh, had this Legends weekend, and it was very, very nice to see some of my old teammates and the guys at Vanderbilt. But he wants us to be a part of the organization. McCagnan has set the standard. Uh, he's revamped that whole organization. Todd Bowles is a no-nonsense guy. You think when you talk to him, he's a very low-key guy, but he means business, and he tells it like it, and that's what I love about it. He may see a guy that's practicing very well, but can he carry over that to the game? Uh, one of the things that I was really impressed with was Brandon Marshall and Geno Smith. And, you know, once they get into games in the regular season, we're going to see what happens. But with the defense, the acquisitions they made during the offseason, I think they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. But it's got, they got to keep guys healthy. They just had a, their second round draft two, they broke his ribs. You know, the first, second day healthy. of a training camp. Uh, Mo Wilkinson tweaked his hamstring, so you kind of look at him and then the thing with Sheldon Richardson. So those things kind of happen. And that's what makes the coaches, you know, who can really take those things that are going to come up with, uh, in, a, in a, a negative way. Can you get those guys to perform regardless of any situation? I think Todd Bowles is the man to do that. All right, last question because it's, it's near and dear to my heart. I met my wife at Hofstra University, and I remember when I was going to Hofstra, guys like you and, and Greg Buttle and Joe Klecko were so nice to us students, and it really made the whole Hofstra experience so much a great experience because the New York Jets were on campus, and you guys were so great to our students. What's your memories of Hofstra? Well, I love that. I, I like the Jets that they can bring back the guys, you know, for a family night. I've been trying to, and it's been hard pressed for me. And I always, and I said that when we had this Legends weekend, I wish they would do more things with Hofstra, which is a, they're such a big fan base on Long Island, and they have to do something, not just for one night, but on a weekly basis and I hope that they do that, but it comes with winning and success, and if they have success, I think that will happen. But I hope that the Jets regime 
with Woody Johnson, Mike McCarthy, recognize that fact, and they want to recognize those fans and really try to do something with it because it's such a big fan base. I'm, I have a privilege to come back and see some of the people that appreciate my play, and I played this game because of fans, and I really appreciate those who really recognize me now, and they make me feel so good. But now they're in New Jersey, it's a different type of situation, but when I come back here and I'm here, you just see the love that you have, and the Jets have, I think, lost that, and I just hope they get that back. Absolutely. Wesley Walker, ladies and gentlemen.